ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Joe, and I'm back at you with another video. And before we jump into this video, I do just want to go ahead and let you guys know that it is Vlogmas Day 4. And today what we're going to be talking about is my favorite songs to listen to during this holiday season. If you have not done so already, please make sure that you are subscribing to my channel so you can get more updates for future videos or vlogs I may be posting. And if you have any songs that you may listen to throughout this holiday season, go ahead and make sure that you are dropping those songs in the comment section down below. So number five on my list today um, is a song that I hear quite a bit more so around like literally Christmas, like December 25th, December 24th, around that time. Um, I really don't listen to this song outside of that, but whenever I hear it on those particular days, it's just like, it melts my heart. The song is called Silent Night, and of course there are a million and one renditions of this same song. Renditions, 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 yeah. But this one happens to be by the Motown legend. This, of course, is at number five, which means, I mean, it doesn't really hold any significance in my life, but the fact that it makes me feel really, really good and puts me really into the season when it comes on. Now, this next song that I have on my list is something that I've actually sang to. Years ago, when I was like in elementary school, they made us learn all these different songs for uh, a Christmas play. And I remember that Christmas play because the bitch was lip syncing. Yes, I was. To everybody else's voice because I didn't even know the words. <laughs> it's a Michael Jackson song. I mean, it's not necessarily Michael Jackson himself. Hint, hint. We got to love Michael Jackson, right? The song actually is um, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus by the Jackson 5. Now, when I first heard this song, again, I was in elementary school, it was my first time hearing it, and they wanted to recite it during a Christmas play, and I was like, no ma'am, I don't even know this song, I don't even know who this, who sings this song. So no, I'm not gonna do it. I perform, but like a drag queen say, the show must always go on, if you know the words or not. I don't know, but this song just, just gives me so much innocence, like, you have Michael Jackson with his high-pitched voice and his young high-pitched voice on top of that singing away, like literally singing his heart out like he really saw his mother kiss Santa Claus. And I don't know about you guys, but whenever I hear this song, I just feel like they are in like bell bottoms with a little hat, maybe even a Santa Claus hat, honestly. Just yes. shoot, 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 shoot. That's how I feel. Every time I hear this song, I just feel like they're just shooting away or shooting away. <laughs> And just sad, sad, sad. Number three. Three. <laughs> the third song that I have on my list that I listen to not as frequently. Um, I can honestly tell you I've heard this song more than I've heard the Jackson 5 song and the Temptation song. Um, and it's so crazy to me because initially I did not even know who sung the song. I just felt like it was very sultry, very grown. Um, in a word, in a sense, very feminine. And I was just like, who's, I, I didn't know who sung it, but I know it was just, it was like someone serenading me personally. Like, I feel like they were sitting in my lap talking about, huh, 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 That's not really the song, but you know. <laughs> but, I mean, honestly, how can you pass this song up? Eartha Kitt? Santa baby? Santa honey. A 54 convertible to light blue. I'll wait up for you, dear Santa baby, and hurry down the chimney tonight. That song, first of all, pause that. First of all, songs made in that time frame, 
I don't know what it is. Maybe just it because time has passed on. I don't know. But a lot of those songs, especially the holiday songs, they age very well. Like you will have singers uh, redoing the songs. You will have the songs shoot back up on the charts. Um, and we're going to talk about one of the main songs that does that in just a second. But that era of music is so classical. It's so legendary. It's so iconic that I think, I mean, it's been uh, for a lot of these instances, 20, 30, 40 years. I think these songs are gonna last even longer than that. But I just really feel like the music from back then is legendary the music that we have now it has the possibilities but it just hasn't met it yet but santa baby santa baby eartha kit first of all eartha kit is iconic first and foremost second of all the song i mean i don't know how many songs she has honestly i don't really listen to eartha kit she's not a part of my repertoire of people to listen to but i can just imagine if her list is longer than just Santa Baby, that matter of fact, if you like Eartha Kid or if you heard any of her songs or if you listen to her on the regular, even in today's age, no matter how old you are, comment your favorite song by Eartha Kid down below. I would like to know because Santa Baby is definitely one of my favorites. It's the only song I know of her, so it has no choice but to be my favorite. And it's like a holiday classic. So if you have any other Eartha Kitt songs that you listen to on the regular or if you're just a stan of Eartha Kitt definitely drop any of those songs titles down below I want to take a listen number two so the second most important song that I have on my list today um oh my god people are probably going to kill me for it not being number one because every time November 1st hit this song skyrockets back into the charts once again, people listen to it over and over and over and over and over again. Like, this is a iconic song. This song is probably going to be one of those songs. Just like I just mentioned, how um, a lot of the songs from the old times, like the Motown era, are very uh, legendary, iconic. They span generations. I think this song is one of those songs, too. I think this song will span generations the song is I, i'm just I'm, I'm i'm just let her i'm just let her sing it okay that's enough i can't do too much i did too much last year and the bitch flagged me mariah don't play Miss Mariah Carey, she just she don't play about her music, about nothing. That's definitely one of my favorite. Like I will sing that song over and over and over again. It's time to reveal my number one pick. Number one, coming in above Mariah Carey. Now, mind you, this is my top five. If you have a top five, definitely go ahead and comment those down below because I don't want nobody to come in for my head because my top five is like, I think I've covered 50 years worth of music in like this time frame. This Christmas by Chris Brown. I don't know about you guys. It don't matter if I'm sitting down in the middle of the summer, you know, sweating my balls off, but this Christmas by Chris Brown is one of my favorites. I would just sing it. I don't know. I will hum it. I will sing it. I will. My video that I posted on yesterday about my favorite top five favorite movies uh, for the holiday season. Definitely make sure that you are clicking on that um, and watching that video too because it's lit, bro. It's lit. Trust me. This Christmas is a classic to me. But whenever I hear Chris Brown's version of it, I can hear it now. I just love it. I love it. I don't, I love it. But that's it guys. That's my top five favorite holiday songs to listen to. What do you guys think? Do you agree with my list? Do you 
see where I'm coming from? Let me know in the comment section down below. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please, please, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. Again, I have more videos coming out. It's Vlogmas. Get excited. We have 25 days of straight videos, period. No stopping. I'm going to... I'm gonna spit out some quality to you guys. I'm gonna spit out something to you guys. Sometimes it might not be quality, who knows. I'm trying my best. I'm learning different things as I go. Um, and yeah, thank you again. Until next time, right? Cool. Peace.